Hi everyone, it's Ronnie DeBeer, PEI's Medium, and this is Angel Talk Thursday. Welcome. So if you're tuning in for the first time, welcome. I'm really excited to be here tonight to talk to you about our subject, energy shifts, and how they affect you, and if you are highly sensitive to energy shifts. So whether you're watching this live, or whether you're watching it on a repeat, that's quite okay. Um, the, the messages will still be the same. So when it comes to energy shifts, so <clears throat> highly sensitive people are very attuned or tuned into or are vibrating at the energy of different people, places, situations, and events within their world, within their realm of life. So that could be a full moon or a new moon could set somebody off energetically. Um, it could be a situation that's happening or occurring in and around your community. It could be even an avalanche or a tsunami happening in the world. All of these energy shifts, we'll call them, affect an awful lot of people. And the number of people that are becoming more attuned or reactive to these types of situations and energies are, is increasing all of the time. More and more children are being born super sensitive and super attuned to that vibrational energy. And more and more uh, young adults and even older adults are beginning to uh, become more sensitive. They're turning on, in other words, to that uh, reactivity and that sensitivity. So a prime example is myself as a, as a psychic medium, I'm very attuned to the energy within and around me. So just last night, I awoke at about 4 a.m. in the morning, <clears throat> completely restless, completely unable to get back to sleep. Usually I wake, but I'm, it's very easy for me to get back to sleep. But last night was a very different scenario and a very different situation. So I woke about 4 a.m., Tossed and turned for close to an hour. At 5 o'clock, I had to get up. I had to sit up um, just to kind of rest and relax and just try to get myself back into that comfort zone and realign my energy so that I could go back to bed. So at 6 a.m., I try to go back to sleep for another hour or two. No, just completely unable to rest. So <clears throat> finally, when I do get up, and I go to the news, I find out that um, the Montague Town Hall burned down. And I realize, oh, that's, that has a big impact on our community and the things that are happening. And then I realize, well, that's probably why I couldn't rest and relax and get back to sleep because usually I can. When something like that is happening and energies um, are suddenly turned on, so people are being rooted out of bed, um, the fire trucks are called, firefighters are called on, um, the town, uh, the people, uh, you, you know, are getting phone calls in the middle of the night that this is happening, you know, wake up. All of this creates energy, and it's different than an average night where you would sleep and be peaceful. This creates energy that some people are highly attuned to, and then it creates a scenario where you find it really difficult and really challenging to rest and feel right. So you feel off, but you're not quite sure why you're feeling off. So even as a child, I was extremely reactive to the full moon phase. So, and a lot of people are. And when you're reactive, some of the things that you can experience are just not feeling right, not able to settle with your thoughts. Um, some people will become uh, hypersensitive and very reactive, almost like they're reacting to every situation and every person on a higher level level. So not your normal reaction that you would normally have when you interact with people or situations on your day to day, but just a little bit more emotional is, is what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> Some other things that can happen is a complete lack of sleep, uh, almost insomnia for the four to five day phase that when you go through um, the full moon or even the new moon phase. Um, and just 
just an all over feeling of just not feeling right. So that's very, very general. But for those of you that are sensitive and have experienced this, you know what that just not feeling right is. For you, it's a whole host of different things. It can even trigger migraines and headaches and um, different types of aches and pains in the, in the physical body, especially if you're what we call clairsentient, which is you, um, you experience things on a physical level. So for me, last night, waking up at 4 a.m. when this big event was happening really close to my home um, and not being able to get back to sleep made total sense. So needless to say, I had to take a nap this afternoon and I'm feeling a whole lot better. But what do you do? What are some things that you can do when you're reacting to things like this that are happening? And even if you're, you have that off feeling, how can you bring yourself back so that you can manage to get through your day accordingly? Because we can't have a whole bunch of highly sensitive people running around without sleep, reacting to every situation uh, on a higher and extreme level. We can't have that because you deserve peace. So how do you bring the peace back into your day when you're experiencing this energy shift? So I do have a blog on my website, RenitaBairdPEI.com, and there's several articles on there about energy and how it can affect people and some strategies to help you cope and feel better and, and regain that feeling of peacefulness. So you're more than welcome to, to go over to that at any point in time. It's got great angel prayers and down-to-earth things that you can easily do to bring yourself back. So when we look at this, the energy shifts and how to make you feel more peaceful. The big thing you need to recognize and understand is that you need to ground your energy. Well, what the heck does that mean? Well, think of a lightning rod on the roof of a tall building. That lightning rod will only work properly if it is grounded. In other words, if there's a cord that runs from that down the side of the building and into the earth so that it is grounded. If the lightning was to strike an ungrounded lightning rod, all hell's going to break loose. The building could go to flames, big sparks fly, right? So think of your body as that lightning rod. And if you're not grounded, you're going to be reactive. Your, your, your spirit, your emotions are going to be thrown off, sparks left, right, and center. And you're not going to feel peaceful, and you're not going to get a good night's sleep. And you're just going to be really growly and touchy is what we're trying to say. So you have to feel grounded. Well, how? what's the best and easiest way to ground? Now, most of you probably don't meditate. If you meditate, that can help to bring grounding to you. Um, perhaps you do yoga. Yoga can also help to ground you as well. But the simple, simple things to do is to prepare. So phases like the new moon and the full moon, we know when those are coming. So you can prepare for those ahead of time by about four to five days before and then about four to five days after, well, no, not that much, but the, the phase actually, the reactive phase is the day of the full moon, two days before and two days after. But coming into that full moon phase, coming into that five day um, highly reactive phase, about a couple of days before, start eating root vegetables, especially at supper time. So root vegetables, are vegetables that are grown in the earth. In fact, anything that is grown in the earth has a very strong grounding effect. So things like turnip, carrot, potato, radish, things that are grown in the earth are very grounding. And if you eat them at your supper meal, it actually acts as a calming effect as well to help to, to soothe you into that sleep type of phase. So root vegetables. Another thing that I'm going to mention, and I'll, I'll, if you're a vegan or you're a vegetarian or you don't consume a lot of red meat, you're going to like, oh, no, 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 I can't do that. But here's the thing. 
If you consume just a little tiny bit of red meat during this phase, you will feel so much better because it has such a grounding effect. So whatever it is, whatever type of meat that you feel that you can consume, and it doesn't have to be a lot. Like I'm not saying go out and get a, you know, an eight ounce steak or a T-bone and throw it on the grill and eat it. I'm just saying at your supper meal to incorporate just a little bit of it into your meal and that will help to ground you. That mixed with the root vegetables makes a huge difference for how you're going to feel. Another big thing is to make sure you're hydrated. Lots and lots of water. So on the days that the you know the moon phases are coming, get your water bottle and keep count. Make sure you're getting your water into you. 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 1 p.m., 3 p.m. And if you don't have any after that, I mean, if, you're, if you don't want to get up and go to the bathroom several times through the night, but if you can handle a little bit just before you suffer or just a little bit after, that will make a really big difference for you as well. So lots of water, hydration keeps you grounded. Another thing that you can do is you can take a sea salt bath. And a lot of folks will, will fight me on this because they're like, no, I don't have time to take a bath. Well, do you have time to feel peaceful? Like, is feeling peaceful worth a half an hour of your time? Are you worth it? Because I certainly think you are, and so do the angels. Otherwise, we wouldn't be doing this. I wouldn't be taking the time and energy to, to, to put this on here tonight. So taking a sea salt bath. So in the winter time. Or if you don't, if you're not near a body of, sleep, of salt water, okay, you take two cups of sea salt, not Epsom salt. It's not the same thing. Epsom salt is magnesium sulfate. It is not salt. You want sea salt. Himalayan salt. I just buy the cheap stuff at Shopper Store. Two cups of sea salt and put it in a nice hot bath. You can add some lavender or your favorite essential oil, whatever it is. And you just top in there and you soak for 20 minutes. And you even dunk, pinch your nose and dunk, so that all of you is saturated in the salt. Drain it at the end of the 20 minutes, and then give yourself like a one to two minute rinse with plain water. Will make a huge difference for how you feel. Just trust me on that. The other thing that the angels want to let everybody know is that you should also be aware of how you react to electronics. So let's say that lightning rod got struck by lightning and the sparks were flying and flames started coming and then we took some gas and threw it on there. What's going to happen? Well, electronics for you and your, when you're really reactive, that's just going to uh, turn things up even more. So get your television out of your key, or get your televisions out of your bedrooms. Like, oh, they they emit um, energy field even while they're shut off. If they're plugged in, they're emitting an energy field, and then for a period of time, even after they're unplugged. So watch your electronics. So that means what I do is, if you can at all, if you're running your washer or your dryer and they're electric, um, have them in a separate room or have them in the basement or have them with the door closed. Um, if you've got, um, you know, you're cooking, cooking with an electric stove, um, don't have your radio going. That's two things. So try to stagger your use of your electronics during this phase when you're really highly sensitive and highly reactive and it will make a huge huge difference for how you feel so again there's angel prayers that you can say as well to call angels in and you can meditate with the angels but the biggest thing you need to recognize and understand is when you're feeling off it's okay this is normal it is your normal don't panic all it means is that you're a highly sensitive soul. And as a highly sensitive soul, you are so needed on this earth right now. We don't need the tough. We don't need the arrogant. We need more sensitive souls across this earth. And if you're one of them, 
then pat yourself on the back. All you need to learn is how to manage your energy more effectively so that you can feel peaceful during these times and phases when you kind of get rocked, when your world is a rock. Okay, so now we're going to go into the message segment. So welcome everyone. I'm Renita Beard, PEI's medium. Uh, don't be afraid to go over and check me out on RenitaBeardPEI.com, my website. Um, this is Angel Talk Thursday, and every week I talk about different aspects of spirituality, being a psychic, being a medium, because I see angels and dead people. I talk to them and they talk back to me, and yay, this is just a fantastic life for me, and I couldn't have dreamed it had been any better than it is. I just, I just love what I do, and I love meeting the people that I, that I meet on a weekly basis. So when it comes to the message segment, um, you can ask for a message from a deceased loved one, give me their name and their relationship to you. You can ask me a question about any anything in the work, the, the type of work that I do. You can ask for a card, and if you have a question for the angel, in other words, if there's something that you want to ask about uh, what's coming up in your life or what direction, uh, would, would be best for you. I'd be glad to help you out. But first I'm going to pull a card for everybody, whether you're watching live or you're watching on a real rerun. And I am using the Goddess Guidance Oracle Cards to do this. This is my, my this is my morning coffee card deck, folks. I love it. And by the way, last week we talked about angel cards and I hope that you, if you have if you have angel cards, that you got them out, dusted them off, and brought them out and started using them on a, on a daily basis in your life. Or maybe you went out and purchased a deck for yourself. And that's just great. So we're going to start out with a message for everybody. So uh, this is my favorite deck. Um, well, no, I shouldn't say that. I say that about a lot of them, don't I? But this is one that I use very, very often. This is my coffee in the morning card deck and I have this as an app on my phone and I also have it as a deck itself and I love it so okay this makes total sense with what we're talking about today so the card is Ishtar Boundaries love yourself enough to say no to others demands on your time and energy if you are tuning in tonight and this is about uh, energy and how it affects you well guess what people's energy affects you too highly sensitive people are usually always the ones that their friends and relatives are picking up the phone and dumping their reasons all over you they will drain you they will drain you, and they don't realize they're doing it. It's not intent to do that. But the, th the reason why this card has come forward is because the angels want you to know that you need to set up healthy boundaries so that when people do want to talk to you, they're not draining you. They're not draining you energetically. Because let's face it, we all have somebody that picks up the phone and calls us, unloads all of their stuff on us, and then you have to carry that for another three or four hours after the phone call or the conversation ends. And that's not fair for you. So healthy boundaries are where you learn to say no. And here's a little hint that the angels have taught me to teach people. So you have control as to when and if you open the doorway for this type of uh, conversation. And the angels say, any conversations that have happened after 6 p.m. in the evening are going to be draining conversations. So you need to shift the, the behavior of both yourself and the individual by saying, oh, I'm sorry, I'm just heading out the door. I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. And then you give them a call in the morning, and that way you limit your time, you shift the change, you shift the time that they speak to you, and that alone says huge things for yourself. It's setting a healthy boundary for yourself, and that little act will mean so much for you and your health and your happiness and your peacefulness. So that you'll have a nice, healthy, 
happy and peaceful evening and not feel drained afterward. So this is a reminder that you need to put some boundaries in your life. So I'm going to say a prayer of intention for everybody watching this, either live or on a repeat, that the angels are with you this week and they are guiding you to lovingly place helpful boundaries both for yourself and everyone in your life, so much so that you will not become drained. All right, so let's have a look and see um, who's with me tonight. Um, Bernice Arsenault Noonan. Hi, Bernice. Um, let's see if we can get a card from you out here. So let's see. Say a prayer of intention that you get the best message for you. Okay. Ah, Bernice, you got Sorceress card, Vienna. So you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. Now, what the angels want you to know is that you need to watch your thoughts because you are able to manifest quickly and easily. So what that means is that the universe is hearing your thoughts. Your thoughts are so loud, Bernice, that the universe is hearing it and they are uh, listening to you so much so that they're creating your life based on your thoughts. So this is saying that you need to watch your thoughts and keep them positive and healthy and tell the universe what it is that you really need, want and desire and allow them to work. So your manifestation skills are really high, you sorceress you. So isn't that wonderful to have that for you? Okay. All right. Glenna Richards, I need guidance tonight. Very upset over something that happened last night. Please guide me. Ah, so Glenna, what I'm being, um, we're going to go back to that healthy boundaries card. And that's the first thing I'm being told um, to tell you about, healthy boundaries. So the thing is, is that we teach people how to treat us. I'm going to say this again. We treat people, or we teach people how to treat us. So that being said, make sure that you're teaching people how to be respectful how to treat you like you matter in this world. And by setting healthy boundaries and learning to say no to other people's demands on your time and energy will be powerful for you. I'm also being guided to pull in the Archangel Ariel. And Archangel Ariel, so Archangels are powerful angels. They're very high up there. And Archangel Ariel it is an Archangel that can work with everybody at the same time. So anybody up there that's naming Archangel Ariel, feel free to call on her. You don't need to ask me to call her forward for you, but I'm being guided to call her forward for Glenna. So Archangel Ariel is the Archangel that will lend you self-confidence. Archangel Ariel is often depicted with two lionesses. Now we know that the lioness is actually the hunter and gatherer in the lion family. So the fact that this angel is always depicted with these two lionesses means that she's powerful, that she's capable, and that she can get the job done. And Glenna, you need to hear that. You're powerful, you're capable, and you can, you have the power to change this situation in a positive way, but you need to place healthy boundaries out there. So I'm asking Archangel Ariel to come to you now and to guide you in such a way that you will be able to see yourself through this, okay? So don't forget to call on Archangel Ariel because she's very powerful and will help you in a lot of ways. Um, okay, Charity Kelly, I would love a card also or hear from my nanny May. Okay, so Charity, I'm being guided to use the Mermaids and Dolphins Oracle card deck for you for a card. Okay, I better write this down because I'm getting a lot. The feed is going really, really quickly. So Charity, and I think it was your, your nanny May as well. Okay, all right. So let's see here. What have we for Charity 
Oh, I think there's a big surprise coming for you, Charity. Um, I don't know whether you've got a birthday or a special event coming up, but I feel like there's a surprise coming. So this is this is like good for you. Oh, look what card you got. The Waves of Prosperity. New abundance and exciting new opportunities wash over you now. So I don't know if you're thinking about shifting or changing, especially career or job. But I really feel like the universe is stepping behind you right now to push you forward and to, and to move you into a doorway of opportunity. So the fact that this surprise is coming your way, this could be within the next two to three weeks. So keep your eyes, keep your eyes and ears peeled because you just never know what's going to uh, jump around the corner. So as I'm connecting with your Nanny May, um, I'm seeing her sending you a huge heart from heaven and sending you so much love. Um, she says the one thing she wants to tell you is to make sure that you, you're true to yourself. Don't underestimate, don't underestimate yourself, she says. And she also says to not, um, not allow other people to underestimate you or step over you. She says you've got this and you can do this and you just need to put yourself out there and stop Stop allowing yourself or creating this veil to stand behind. Just push yourself out there, she says. And I really feel like she's encouraging you to make a change. And it really feels like with your job for some reason. So I will ask the angels to help you and guide you for your highest and best and to make this transition nice and smooth and easy for you. Okay, take care. All right, let's see. Um, Tiffany Alma. Uh, I was wondering if you're able to give me a message from a loved one this week. Oh, I need a name. <laughs> All right. Um, it's, uh, let's see here. Uh, okay. Carrie Edwards. Okay. Carrie, I'm going to pull a card for you as well. So don't be afraid to, to ask questions. Oh, there's it right there for you, Carrie. Okay. So tonight. Oh, soul mail, soul mate relationship. Yay, Carrie. Um, so new romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now. I really feel, Carrie, that this is in regards to your relationship with your partner uh, right now, your current partner. And I really feel like this is card, card is coming forward to add new magic and new, new fun things into your life with your partner um, because for too long I feel like you've been cooped up for a long time because I'm hearing she's been cooped up for a long time um, and I don't know if you've got a grandmother on the other side but I feel like there's a, a female energy that's coming forward and she's like oh I want to talk to Carrie I want to talk to Carrie um, but but they're encouraging you um, and I don't know if your anniversary is coming up or not but I'm feeling like you need to go out on a date um, you need to make um, we need to add some magic and some spark into your romantic life. And this card, the soulmate relationship, because the thing is, is that um, we need to put 150% of ourselves into our partnership at all times. It's never 50-50. You need to, every person needs to put 150% into their relationship in order to make it work. And relationships don't last unless you put the work in. It's the same thing as when you buy a car. You have to have it properly maintenance in order for it to last. Same with your house. You have to have proper maintenance on your house and your buildings to make sure that they last longevity. And it's the same thing with a relationship. You need to put more of yourself into this into your relationship in order to make it long lasting because it's worth it. It's so worth it. Uh, and I'm hearing this female spirit coming forward and sending you so much love and so many blessings. Um, and just wrapping your arms around your babies and just loving them, loving them, loving them, sending so much love to them. <laughs> um, yeah, and I feel like there's, um, I'm seeing like a pencil being placed in one of the little one's hands and I don't know if they're just about to start school or, or what have you but I know this is like pulling on um, the heartstrings like watching them grow so so fast um, and just sending you so much love um, and just and really loving and enjoying watching those kids grow so I'm just sending you that okay um, <clears throat> okay um, Amber Johnson I'm being guided to pull a card for you as well Amber <clears throat> okay. 
let's see here, Amber, what we've got for you. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> that was just going to pop right out there. Okay, cycles and rhythm. Honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. So what this tells me, Amber, is that you're going through a little bit of a rough time right now, energetically and emotionally, some ups and some downs. And life in general always brings uh, its ups and its downs. So life is not meant to be a smooth, solid road in a straight line. The angels are saying, we just want to remind you that life's meant to take its twists and turns and its little bumps and little hills and valleys. And just because you find yourself in a little bit of a valley or a little bit of a low or a low, doesn't mean that you don't have something really good in store for you just around the corner. But the one thing that we need from you right now is you need to have more faith in yourself on a daily basis. Because if you don't have faith in yourself, how can you expect anybody else to see it in you or have faith in you? You need to have faith in yourself. I wish I could just reach through this screen and give you a big squeeze hug and tell you how important you are and how much you're needed in this world right now. So because I can't do that, I'm going to call on the Archangel Raphael, the Archangel of Healing. And Archangel Raphael can work with everybody at the same time. And if you want Archangel Raphael to wrap you in their energy in this moment, you can call on them as well. So I'm asking that Archangel Raphael wrap your arms and wings around you to bring you, bring more joy into the center of your heart, mind, body, and soul, to bring you more peace. Elevate your spirit in such a way that you learn to love self fully, fully, and completely. Forgive yourself for things that you think you could or should have done, when in fact, Archangel Raphael is reminding you that everything you've done thus far is exactly in divine alignment with what you're supposed to be doing. Because everything that we learn, everything that we experience in this life, teaches us about ourselves. It's never about the other person. And until we get that, until we get that it's not about the other person, it's about us, then we, we don't, we just kind of feel like we're stuck. So with cycles and with the cycles and the rhythms, recognize that, that this is just, this will pass. This will pass. And so you'll be back on a smooth road again and everything will be good. And know that I'm holding you in my prayers tonight. Okay, let's see. Um, Kathy McGilvery Peters, would you like a card, Kathy? So I'm being able to use the God of Guidance cards. Again, this is my morning coffee card deck. I always pull a card from here. Whoop, there it is. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing, but the cards always pop out. Oh, so be strong. You are stronger than you think you are, and your strength assures a happy outcome. This card comes forward when you need a gentle reminder of how strong you really are. We're giving, we're brought nothing in this world that doesn't, that we can't handle. And we need to recognize and honor that we are stronger than we think we are. So this is a very loving and gentle message to you that you need to be strong because everything is working out for their highest and best. I'll leave you with that. Okay, let's see here. <sighs> Patricia Oliver would like a message from her grandma, Carrie. Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay, Patricia. So I feel a very gentle and loving presence coming forward. And I feel someone who's very calm and collected and almost quiet in nature. And I feel like her gentleness surrounds you a lot. She tells me that she surrounds you and her energy quite a bit because she likes her gentleness and her calmness to rub off on you. Because she's working with you to stay calm 
in heart, mind, body, and soul a lot. Um, she says that oftentimes she needs you because she's showing me a vision of um, she's showing me a vision of her energetically holding your hand and guiding you forward in your life. Um, she tells me to tell you that she's very much at peace. Um, she also wants me to tell. Uh, I just have to quiet myself because she's coming through very gently. She tells me to tell you that it was her time to pass. She also tells me to tell you to be strong and courageous. And don't let, like, don't let life's battles get you down. She feels that you're a little bit blue and she's working to bring your joy meter up. An option too. Um, I see you're talking about um, a loving, a loving and gentle man in your life as well. And I feel like this is a partner that she's pointing out to me. So I don't know if um, this is if you're married or you're with someone because she could be showing me in the future as well. But she's giving me the thumbs up because there's a lot. She really, whoever this is, she's. She really likes this person. This person brings her a lot of joy. I want to say hi, she says to her, all of her family. Um, and family was big with her, really, really big. Um, she tells me that it brought her a lot of joy to, um, to bake and cook with family because she shows me being, she's like holding this pie up and it's the steam and the, and the fragrance is just really permeating all of my senses right now. And I feel as she's holding this up, she's so proud of that. Um, and I almost, I almost feel uh, her like my grandmother um, because my grandmother would say to me, um, she, when she bakes and she cooks for her family, she's actually sending them love and putting love into the food that she makes for them. She also says to tell you there's better days ahead. Uh, mind your P's and Q's and be a good girl. And she also tells me to tell you that she gives you a kiss goodnight. So I'll leave you with that. Okay. Jesse Ross, I would love to know if there is anything traveling out of the country in the near future. I think what you're trying to ask me is if you're going to be traveling out of the country in the near future. So I'm going to go with that as your question, okay? And if I'm wrong, um, because that's what I'm getting from it. Okay, so Jesse is first traveling out of the country in the near future. Not yet I'm getting. Not yet. The timing's not right. It feels like in the, it's six to 12 months from now, it feels like you're going to start to plan toward traveling, okay? Because it feels like this is something that you have to work towards, whether it be, whether it be you have to um, plan to save money, put money away, to do an itinerary, because it feels like when you do go, you're gonna be going for an extended period of time, but the timing isn't right right now. Okay, so I hope that answers your question. Sherry Cousins, I would love to have a card pulled. Thank you so much. I'd love to pull a card for you, Sherry, and I'm being guided to go to a different card deck for you. I'm being guided to go to the Angels of Abundance Oracle card. So let's see what the angels want to say to you about what message they have for you. Ah, there it is. So I don't know if you can see this or not. I don't think I have the camera aligned properly for you to see how the card decks speak to me They're, because cards jump out, literally. And I always say that's because the angels are standing right behind me and they just reach forward and pull the card for me. So the card for you, my dear, is donation, thing, and charitable work. Okay. So the message is give joyfully to the organizations and people, spirit people who spiritually support you and inspire you and know that your generosity will return to you many fold in miraculous ways. 
The time, supplies, money, and other resor resources you donate will ensure that your positive energy multiplies. What I feel the angel's telling you is that you do need to get out there and do some volunteer work. I feel that this is important for your career. So I don't know if there's career change coming up for you or this is part of uh, part of the steps necessary for you to make a change in a career. But I'm feeling that you need to start a volunteering in the line of work uh, in the line of work that you want to do because it all I don't what I'm kind of seeing is um, you going to uh, to volunteer at a hospital for some reason or um, so I don't know whether you're thinking about going into nursing or if that's come across your mind thought or mindset um, but that's kind of what I'm being drawn to um, so I'll just I'll leave you with that because you'll know how to interpret that to suit suit your life. Okay, we're almost coming down to the end here. Um, Nancy Elworth, hi Renita, I would truly love a message from my son Neil or my mom Dora. Okay, okay Nancy. All right, so I feel both of them coming in at the same time and I actually feel like there's a couple of gentlemen coming forward with them so this could be on either your side of the family or, or um, your husband's side of the family as well coming forward so I've got four of them coming forward but I'm not going to me message all four of them because <laughs> that's just too much um, so when it comes to I'm going to start with, um, with Neil for you my dear um, mom I love you so much he says um, I want to lend you some courage and strength to help you get through the next few weeks. You've set some coping strategies aside for yourself, he says, and that's very good. Um, but he says you need to be really, really gentle with yourself. Please know that I'm forever your son and that I'm forever guiding you. I'm different now. I'm changed. I'm so much at peace and I'm so happy. I'm lending you courage and strength every moment of your day. I surround you with so much love. He's just giving me multiple kisses to give to you. And I and he wants to say hello to his father as well. And so he, um, and I feel like there's two others, and I don't know if these are siblings, but I feel like he's recognizing the whole family and wanting to send so much of his love to everybody in the family. I see a double heart symbol, and this is from Kevin, um, recognition of the birthday or anniversary in the family that he wants to make reference to. I know the month of September and October are really important for him as well, and I don't know why, but they, but you will um, usually when spirit, um, and I know to say the number 18 or 19 is really important as well. So when spirit gives me months and, and dates like that, it's because there's something important that they're recognizing something in the, fa in the family. Those are evidential messages by the way. So um, nine times out of ten when they're giving me months, it's something it's a birthday anniversary or something that's really or a time that was really important that something happened. Um, when they give me the dates like the 18th or the 19th, they're usually recognizing um, a date of any it could be any month as well. So keep that in mind, Nancy, okay? Um, let's see what else he wants to say. Um, he tells me that you've got a lot of ideas um, and he says to keep the wheels turning because you're on the right track, you know, in other words. And that's one of the ways the spirit talks is they'll place a vision in my mind, I, and I see this wheel just to turn it, and he says to you that you're on the right track and that you've got a lot of ideas. Um, okay, and you're a very gifted person too, he says. Like you're very, as, whether it is you're artistic or what it is that you do, he says you're very gifted, and he wants to see you continue to do that. Um, he wants you to, um, he's, he's telling me, he's making me aware that there's something that you've, Put aside or that you, you stopped doing since his passing and he's encouraging you to dust it off and get it out and start doing it again because this is very it's very meaningful to you and it puts a lot it it's very healing it would be very healing for you as well he says um without uh again with the kisses he's sending you kisses again um, and I want to connect with your mom before we were over here today too. So I'm just, but he wants to do a lot of talking. You should probably make a private session with me. And I do do private sessions um, on a weekly basis in my home office in New Perth, just outside of Montague, or 
uh, anywhere in the world through Zoom, um, which is a whole lot less glitchy than this Facebook Live is. I guarantee you that. Um, okay, so I'm just going to ask for, uh, for a message from your mom as well. Um, Dora. Um, very bright, bubbly energy and just smiling from ear to ear. I feel like she was quite the ticket. I feel like this woman was in charge and really lit up a room and really knew how to get things done. Great volunteer, great community person, loved everybody and I just feel like she's the type of person that would just grab you and give you a big squeeze hug really, really quickly um, and be joyful about it. Um, she, loves, she loved her cup of tea and she loved her chats um, and she loved to laugh and I see her taking cards and like putting them down on the, on the table. Um, and she says that you're a lot like her in that way. And she's, she's so joyful, that tells me that she's very much at peace and very much um, just, just so, so full of joy. So that tells me that as a spirit person, she's just, yeah, like the joy that she's putting into me, I wish you could feel it just for a minute um, because she's got me smiling from ear to ear just feeling her around me. Um, she says, don't you worry about your son because I've got him. And she says, you're such a special girl. And she's saying you're so gifted too. And she's encouraging you to move forward with with whatever it is that your son was talking about as well. Um, she's showing me you reading a book, um, and she says it gives you a lot of courage. So, um, so if you haven't been reading a book, she's going to be guiding you to a book that's going to really help you. Uh, it's going to. It, she's calling it enlighten, an enlightenment book. So. Um, These these folks are really chatty. Uh, you've got chatty folks on the other side. Um, so you yeah you should really make a private session for sure. Um, so again, your mother's also making me aware of the double heart symbol. So recognizing a birthday or an anniversary. And she's just calling you a special girl. She just wants you to know that she's with you. She's helping you, she's guiding you, and she's watching over everybody. She's just like showing me, sending prayers to everybody in the family. Like I just see her, her wiping her, rubbing her hand like this across the whole family energetically and just sending this layer and energy of love to everybody. She is just, she was a really special lady, I can tell. So I'm going to leave you with her, okay? And everyone, so please recognize and understand that I cannot get to every single person in 45 minutes. I would love to, but I can't. Please keep in mind that I do do private sessions um, over or over Zoom video call or telephone sessions or in-person sessions as well. Um, I hope to see everybody back here next week. Next week, I'm going to be talking about pendulums. So I don't know if you're familiar with pendulums. Google it. I'm going to be talking about pendulums, how to use them properly and how to get the most out of them. And I'm sure we'll have a fun time talking and using pendulums next week. So sending you off with so much love, so much light, and so many angel blessings for a powerful, positive week ahead. Goodbye, everyone.